New at 11 today, this man, Terrence Roberts, once uh, one of Denver's most well-known community activists, is starting trial for attempted murder. He admits to shooting a reputed gang member, ironically, at a peace rally, but he claims it was self-defense. So only on 7 News, Lindsay Watts talked to Roberts before he went into court this morning. Dale and Mitch, we met with Terrence Roberts right here where he gathered with his supporters before going inside this morning. He is facing life in prison but is out on bond. Pretty rare for someone accused of such serious crimes to speak to the media before trial. But we know Roberts well from prior stories that we've done with him about his efforts to improve the Park Hill community, specifically Holly Square. He started an anti-gang youth program, put in basketball courts for kids. He helped a boys and girls club come to that area. And it was right there in front of the club where the shooting happened two years ago. Police say Roberts shot a gang member multiple times, at least once when he was already down. The case has gotten a lot of attention. A Denver filmmaker is even doing a documentary about it. And it's because Roberts was a gang member himself who had seemingly turned his life around and was trying to do good. When I interviewed him this morning, he wouldn't go into detail about the shooting, but said a group of men came after him because they thought he was an informant for Denver police. I was on my company's property doing a, a peace rally uh, when the group of gang members came over and told me that they were going to assault me. Uh, and when they tried it, I defended my life. This is the man who shot, uh, who was shot rather, and left paralyzed. His name is Hassan Jones. And he's the one who's actually locked up right now. He's accused of killing his girlfriend's two-year-old daughter in Aurora last year. I sat in on court proceedings for a little while this morning. Right now, jury selection is underway. Roberts is facing such a long sentence, more than 100 years, because he does have a criminal record from when he was younger. And so he is being tried as a habitual offender. It's a case we will continue to follow for you. For now, live in Denver, Lindsay Watt, 7 News.